<clears throat> Guys, we're here from the cart. And welcome to a new Crash Team Rumble stream. And if y'all didn't see the last one, go and check it out. And, yeah, I have done lots more since the last one, I can just say. I have, I have unlocked much more stuff since the last one. And, yeah, I've leveled Embryo to level 7, believe it or not. Embryo's level 7. <sighs> Good start. Since we are a blocker, of course, might as well try to block the other team. Right. Block the other team from scoring. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> the music. Dang. Here, we are not doing so well in this match for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna win this one. Right. Yeah, we are not doing very well in this match. That's for sure. Your team boost Yeah, there's no, or, well, not today, there's no, um, Ask Aku Aku first, or first Aku Aku, because again, those are weekly challenges, those are weekly challenges, we already completed this week's challenges, I do love those are weekly challenges, like, weekly challenges like those, I love the idea of those Ask Aku Aku first challenges. Man, <laughs> yeah, we are not doing well in this match. Look at our score. That's sad. That is pitiful. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> I had a feeling we were going to lose that one. I had a feeling. I had a feeling.
Oh yeah, and I'm level 40 too. On the battle pass. And yeah, I got female in trophy. Got female in trophy or feminine trophy again. People call her feminine trophy, but <laughs> oh yeah, and I got the remaining power ups, at least as of now. She was definitely a bit tougher to get, for sure. Definitely. I did got some, managed to get some pits for, no pits for, for a female in trophy. I'm definitely going to be curious, I'm definitely curious to see how to unlock Ripper Roo and, and Jen when they come in this season. We got two fem or female and trophies. Man, I got knocked off. <laughs> I got knocked off for sure. I don't know why I did waste that bounce crate. Man, Crash is st This person, this player right here is stubborn. He is not falling. This person is not giving up. I I do like being I definitely like being a blocker. Blocking people from blocking the other team from scoring. I always love being, definitely love being those ones to, but I definitely like being a scorer as well. Booster, not so much. Yes! We got the Spirit Guardian. We got the Spirit Guardian. Oh, they got, they got their healing fridge with them.
Well, I'm dead. <laughs> well, we're gonna win. We are gonna win this one. <laughs> I mean, there's no way we're gonna lose this, right? Your team boost expired. Like, there's no way we can't lose this. Because we just need one more drop-off. We just gotta need one more drop-off. And then we win. Like that. There we go. <laughs> I was so surprised we got the Spirit Guardian power up in that match. <laughs> Normally it's the other team that gets the Spirit Guardian power up. Got a trophy. Man, six match. I've won six matches as female and trophy. <laughs> Wait. There. Yeah, six matches of female and trophy I've won. Yeah, I got these different staffs. I love those little pro tips and fun facts. Like the fun fact saying Crass's full name is Crass Team Rumble Bandicoot. And if you call Wumpa Fruit by apples or mangoes, it'll hurt their feelings. <laughs> Always loved that. Just those little, just those little funny things there. Try to get me crass. Try to get me Tana. And we're having a we're having a rumble here. Ooh. That takeout was intense. Oh, it looks like she'd come back for revenge. Yeah, that Tana's come back for revenge. I'm not surprised that it wanted some revenge. Oh, good Cortex. <laughs> good job for Cortex there. Man, how are they already ahead of us? Or, almost ahead of us, how? I was, I mean, we were just ahead just a few seconds ago, and now they're already. Yeah, here we go. Come 
on team. You got this. I think we're gonna get Oka Oka. I'm thinking we're getting o gonna get Oka Oka. It's like it's like this person playing as Tana has not taken a taken the hint of saying, "Yeah, I don't think I should." <laughs> Try to see if anybody comes to get my hair. Man, that was a nice hit. <laughs> looks like my looks like the team is having trouble with it. Oh no! 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 Not not Oka Oka. Not Oka Oka. <laughs> oh no. Your team boost expired. And I thought we were gonna get Oka Oka. Alright. I thought we were gonna get Oka Oka because But they must have They must have snagged the Oka Oka Relic Station while I wasn't looking. Do something epic. Our team's gotta do something epic to win. It's not gonna take late for long. Oh, come on. One drop off. One drop off. One drop off. Somebody's just gotta drop off. Somebody's just gotta drop off Wampa Fruit on our bank. No! Come on, drop it off. <laughs> Woo! Literally. Who that was intense. Like, somebody just had to drop off at the bank, and we would, we would have won, and we did. <laughs> the other team came close, too. The other team came close, too. Came very close. Like, let's just look. <laughs> look at that score. <laughs> that was intense. Crash Team Rumble, original list, whispers, or whisper about a Bandicoot bonus, whale, unconfirmed rumors.
Everyone puts Wampa on the board. Nemai's getting these. Nemai is getting these jump pads. Oh, somebody's trying to snag these gems. Man, there's too many of them. <laughs> there is too many of them on that gem platform. Got a trophy on that. I might be close to getting the platinum trophy, believe it or not. I'm not sure. I haven't checked the trophy list in quite a while. Get him, Embryo. Get Tana embryo. Get rid of that healing fridge. We we don't need no healing fridge on our bank. Yes! We got the ally bonus bank. Yeah, watch out for that Tony Fork in Dade. People gotta watch out for in trophy or femi female in trophies Tony Fork for sure. People gotta look out for female in trophies Tony Fork. Clean up on aisle three. I just love the narrator's lines. Whoever does the narrator during these matches is so funny. Get rid of that healing fridge. I'm telling you, we don't need no healing fridge. We win. <laughs> I knew we were probably going to have to win because of... Well, not only because how well we were doing, but also because... The other team's score. Like, they barely scored any. <laughs> Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. For real. Level 7 for female. Disco never dies. Pits fork. Tuning fork. Got a new tip. I got a new pitchfork. A disco style. <laughs> I got a disco Scott. 
a disco style toning fork. <laughs> so both Embryo and Tana are level seven. Cortex and Coco are level four. Yeah, I finally I finally played as Coco a bit. I did finally play as Coco. I mean, Sue is still at level one, like for real, but finally leveled her up. Cortex as well. Y'all may have seen the Clown Cortex skin I got. Right? Did y'all? Did y'all see it? Might, might have seen y'all it. Can't remember. Can't remember. I might have seen y'all it. Oh, we got a dingo doll. Hey, I got that dingo doll skin. I got that dingo doll skin. That one that I'm baiting up. Canadian got a dead mention on one of his streams on Team Rumble. He did actually mention that it does look like Spyro. <laughs> that thing about skin. Just the colors. Just the coloring of that, or the style of that skin. It just, it just, <laughs> I don't know where I was going. Your team boost expired. Enemy team boost expired. But yeah, he mentioned that that thing about us can look like Spyro. Which Spyro is coming eventually. One of y'all told me that there was like lake concept art. Art. Lake image. Like, lake art for a Spyro stage. I don't know where it could have been saying that. We have to look out for Dingo Dial. He is definitely a something else, a something character for sure. <laughs> he is powerful too. Might actually be actually have one that most of the characters that has a lot of health. I got squished. <laughs> I fell through the floor. <laughs> yeah, I think I fell through the floor. <laughs> Trap. Again, I don't know how I died there.
what if I accidentally just went on to the, just slammed, this ground slammed right into the, right into the ground. That would have been funny. Somebody barely went up here and got those jumps. Oh, great. Now, <laughs> now there's a sandstorm. Now there's a sandstorm. Because I don't think I've ever gotten hit by the sandstorm before. I mean, that's a good thing, too, but it seemed like a good thing, too, but yeah, I don't think I ever have gotten hit with the sandstone before. Oh, yeah, you know those hamburgers? You know what that cheeseburger or whatever kind of hamburger it is? Hamburger, that cat bat, that power up that cat bat has. It's actually a healing power up. Yeah, cat bat actually has a power up of healing to heal herself. Cause whenever I, I eventually found out whenever I was using it, cause I still I was still trying to figure out what it was actually. I thought it was just random, but no, it's actually an item so you can heal yourself. That that was just so cool. How you were just able to Catbot was able to heal herself. That is very useful too. Very helpful. I thought Dingadar was still chasing me. I was gonna say, why are you still chasing me, Dingadar? Right? Why was he still chasing me? Might as well get rid of that healing fridge. Gems have been reactivated. Look out from below, Dingo Dial. Oh, now Dingo Dial's called for backup. We win. <laughs> I was like, look out from above, Dingo Dial, because I'm going to slam straight into you. Level 41. Got a new banner.
we got a level 47 person. <laughs> we got a level 47 person. On the other time. On the anime time. Ugh. <laughs> we have so many crosses. <laughs> so many people. We got so many crosses on our team. That's an interesting fun fact there. Interesting fun fact there. Interesting fun fact there. Very interesting. <laughs> I just can't help but just laugh at all these crasses that are on our team. Man, he's really calling for backup. The other team is really calling for backup. <laughs> like, they're just baiting me. They're just smacking me down. <laughs> like, we had three people. Three people that were baiting me up at the exact same time. Oh, he still managed to score. Taking one for the team. I am taking one for the team. How has nobody scored on our side yet? Well, like we're, we're still sort of neck and neck here. Yeah, we got an ally. We got the ally dragons. Look at my health bar. <laughs> my health bar, though. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. How how did I not get killed yet? 
Like, you could barely see my health bar, though. It was, like, at that point where you could barely see my health bar. We just need one drop-off. Yeah, this will do it. <laughs> That's definitely did it. Like, so many people. There were so many people on the other team. Just all surrounding me. <laughs> so many people that were surrounding me. We won 10 matches, and we won 10 matches in total as female and trophy. <laughs> that is crazy. 10 matches as female and trophy. We have won. We got a level 47 on our team. Still crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, Ripper Row and Engine can pop up during the season anytime. Right? They could pop up anytime during the seasonal or the weekly challenges. Because again, there's weekly challenges. Or death. Ask Aku Aku first. The Ask Aku Ask Aku Aku first is the weekly challenges. Which again, I like I like that they have those the weekly challenges. And of course, the timer window the weekly challenges will restart or reset. I like that. <laughs> I really do love though that Toys for Bob did actually add something like that. Add that weekly challenge thing. Real always love when games do that though. Which Nitrofield did it right? Yeah. Cause with the Grand Prix and stuff. With their seasons. With its seasons, they had they had that, the weekly challenges and the other things too, so I'm glad that Toys for Bob is is in fact bringing their own weekly challenges they're in its seasons they're in, the, they're in its seasons I'm definitely sure that Ripper Root and and Jen will be sometime during well, yeah, obviously, because they are coming in this season, right? They're coming in this season. We just don't know when. They can, and that's the thing. They can just pop up, pop up any time in the season. Cortex was really giving me a baiting. Cortex was really giving me a baiting. Nobody has activated that tree yet. Well, besides now. Oh, it turned me into an animal. <laughs> What 
since Spyro and Ripto are obviously coming because of what y'all told me about that concept art of the stage, of a state of the stage and them on it on Team Rumble. I wonder what are if Spyro and Ripto are gonna be a blocker, a scorer, or a booster. That's definitely gonna be interesting too. Like what kind of style are they gonna be? Are they gonna be a blocker, a scorer, or a booster? I don't know. I don't know why, but I feel like that Spyro should be a scorer. Or I feel like he might be a scorer. I don't know why. I have that feeling. I just have a feeling that he, he might be a scorer. Ripto may be a blocker, but again, he is a sort character. Again, why Sp the reason why Spyro calls him sorty, but he might be a block or. A, a booster. I, I mean, that's just a guess. I'm just gonna say that he might be a booster. Yeah, I'll just say Ripto a booster and Spyro a score. Again, we'll just have to wait and see exactly. Because we know Ripperoo is a blocker. Ripperoo, especially when we saw on Summer Game Fest, when we saw Ripperoo and Engine in the roster of characters to play as in Summer Game Fest, we've seen, we got a glimpse of what he, him, and Engine are gonna be. Engine is gonna be a booster. Engine is gonna be a booster. And Ripperoo is gonna be a blocker. Ripperoo is going to be a blocker, and then Jen's going to be a booster. Which kind of makes sense, because he is going to be right next to Cortex. But yeah. Ripperoo... And I kind of do feel like Rip Road does fit, would definitely fit as a blocker. I do feel like he does fit the category of being a blocker style character. And, and Jen being a booster. Now when it comes to, of course, characters that people would request, and that is Crunch. Which, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting Crunch Bandicoot in this game. Which, yeah. I mean, we, we have seen, especially from Crash 4, we have seen on, you know, in the flashback tape with the monitor that shows Crunch in a new style. So, they already do have a model, at least, for Crunch. Same goes with Papu Papu in one of the concept arts of Crash 4, right? Koala Kong as well. Koala Kong as well. But yeah, I know a lot of people are definitely going to... Or Crunch is going to be definitely a highly requested character. Crunch, Nina Cortex, Tiny Tiger, Koala Kong. Um, Pinstripe Potteroo. Like I said, there's going to be... And I definitely know that Toys for Bob is going to be taking request, or listening to feedback, and I definitely know that for sure. I mean, yeah, I really do love that they are using Ripperose model that was going to be on Crash 4. Right, Ripperoo's model that was going to be used in Crash 4 from the concept arts is the exact same model that we're seeing Ripperoo in on Team Rumble. I really do love that that 
the model for Ripper Oat and Cross 4 isn't, was it just going to be wasted? Or, isn't now wasted? It's actually going to be used, right? Since he wasn't in Cross 4, I'm glad they're going to use the exact same model that what he was intended to get, be used and bring it into Team Rumble. I'm so glad they're actually doing that, though. They're, they're using Ripper Oat's model that going to be in Cross 4 and using it for Team Rumble. And it's, that's smart too. That is very smart. Definitely a smart idea toy for Bob. And I'm definitely assuming they're going to do the same with Papu Papu as well. Especially since Papu Papu also has concept art um, that was intended for Cross 4. So I'm definitely assuming that they're gonna do the same. They're gonna do the same with Papu Papu. Which yeah, I'm pretty sure that life icon that again you say we do say could intensely be it could intensely be Papu Papu. I mean that life icon could be anybody. It could be Willy Wumpa Cheeks, it could be a no character, it could be Laura. You know, from Spyro, it could be Papu Papu. People mention it could be Yaya Panda. Like the life icon could be anybody. I just definitely say there being a real good selection of characters for the roster. Right, when it especially comes to the seasons, the season events that are happening. Which I'm glad Toy for Bob are doing seasons, different season events. But again, Baynox did a real good job with the seasons, the season events on Nitro Fuel. So I'm glad that Toys for Bob are actually, are doing something like that when it comes to or Team Rumble with season events, seasonal events for Team Rumble, and doing just like Nitro Fuel also when it came to the season events, bringing no characters, no stages, no customizations. I love that Toys for Bob is also doing that too. Right, they're doing that too. Toys for Bob having inspiration from the Grand Prix and bringing them into Team Rumble is such a good idea. And I just love that they're doing that. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of characters that would be great for Team Rumble, <laughs> right? There'd be lots of there's lots of characters that will be great, for, that will be good for the roster. That would be perfect for the roster. There's lots of characters they can, good characters they can choose from. That would be really good for Team Rumble. Like I previously mentioned, um, Crunch, Papu Papu, Qualcomm, Tiny, mm, Nana Cortex. Because again, we are getting, we are getting Ripperoo and Engen, two, two other fan favorite, relatable, level characters, right? Fan favorite characters. So, it just shows that we're definitely gonna, of course, there's definitely gonna be lots of fan favorite characters. I can definitely expect there being lots of fan favorite characters in Team Rumble. 
to come after <laughs> Ripper Owen and Jen in the first season. And, and to come after season one. But yeah, there's gonna be more seasons. There's gonna be more seasons, I could definitely tell. Or I could definitely say. After season one and season two. Definitely. And of course, Mel in Trophy. You know, the... In Trophy we know of. The boy in trophy. I definitely know we'll be most likely seeing too, especially since there's a, another pitchfork that, of course, represents in trophy. Right? There's two pitchforks on the background that you would see all the character icons on, where you see that Leif and the tan take right and Spyro's wings and Ripto's thing that he wears. Again, I don't know what it's called, or what it is exactly, what Rip Ripto wears. Like, what is that thing Ripto wears exactly? But you know what I'm talking about. What he, where he, it's not an amulet, I don't think, but you know, the thing that he wears around his neck. I do see Spyro and Ripto definitely having some real good abilities, right? I know they're gonna have some real good abilities. And of course, Ripto as well. Right, Ripto and Spyro definitely having some good abilities. Now, here's something I do wonder when it comes to Ripto and Spyro and Team Rumble, when they come in Team Rumble. And that is, if Toys for Bob are going to be using their reignited trilogy designs, right? If they're going to use the reignited trilogy designs. I mean,. Baynox did with Nitro Field, right? Baynox did with Nitro Field, but I do wonder if they're going to be using, reusing the, or the reignited designs for Spyro and Ripto. Part of me is thinking, yeah. Part of me is thinking they're probably will, but part of me thinks that maybe they're going to be using some new models, right? Part of me thinks they're going to be using some new models. Maybe that'll give us a hint of what their models would look like in a new Spyro game. I doubt they would use new models that would be in the next Spyro game, though. Like, I feel like they probably would save it, right? Save new models. I do... I do believe that they definitely will use the reignited designs for Ripto and Spyro. Again, that's just guessing, though. We just have to wait and see when Spyro and Ripto do come to Team Rumble. Again, on whatever season they come. Right, on whatever season they come. Your team boost expired. Enemy team boosted. Yeah, I definitely wasn't going to save myself. <laughs> definitely wasn't going to save myself there. Man! This area is intense. 
<laughs> like so many people in the exact same spot. So many people in the exact same spot. What? <laughs> okay. Your team boosted. We went. <laughs> we served so damn. Definitely needed to make sure that nobody did score. Femelling Trophy is almost to uh, level 8. <laughs> Femelling Trophy is almost to level 8. Yeah, I really do love these different staffs that I got for Femelling Trophy. It does make sense that Femelling Trophy doesn't, or isn't equipped to wear any hats or anything. It does make sense. Because she's already got a hat on, right? She's already got a hat on. Would I really be surprised if some people actually got to level 100 already on the battle pass? Would I be surprised? Yes, but not really. Right? I know there probably would be people that have already gotten to max level on the battle pass in the, this season. I'm sure there are people that have already gotten to level 100. Definitely, I'm sure. People have gotten to level 100. Did some serious grinding, too. Because, <laughs> again, it takes some lots and lots of grinding. But, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I definitely wouldn't be surprised. Already fell in lava. <laughs> I mean, that didn't take long. That didn't take me long to do. Right, that definitely did not take me long to fall into lava. Whoa, what? 
I don't know where I was trying to land to. I have no clue where I was trying to go. Part of our team or not? It probably wasn't. It probably wasn't our team. On our team. Yeah, there's no way we're surviving this, for sure. It's funny how they just placed back another healing phrase right when I... from the bank nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. How is nobody banked on our bank yet? Well, maybe in the fending. I placed it wrong.
Like, how has nobody... For real. I am just surprised. Nobody going over to our bank to bank in. Yes! Level eight. Got level eight for female and trophy. <laughs> See, it's the highest leveled character so far that we got. The highest level character by far. <laughs> Just doing a little three sixty here. a little 360. We got a level 46 on the other team. The other team has level 46. That is not good. The Just Beachy map is just, just around the coastline from Insanity Beach. That's funny. That's funny. So I guess if anybody wanted to... Nowhere. Did somebody already fall already? I mean, we already just started the match, and somebody's already gonna fall. And I got, and I already got. Oh, I'm fighting another female in trophy. There was two female in trophies.
Dang. Oh, they got a they got a hundred. What? They got a hundred. And our team has not scored none. What? I can already tell this is gonna be and I fell again. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a solid fail for us. Most certainly lost this match. There is no way we're gonna win this. Zero ways we're gonna win this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are not winning this match. That is a most certain. I mean, this match is definitely not... We're definitely not winning this match. That is something. There's just no catching up, right? There's no catching up. Even if we did boast, or get the boost, we still would not win. Right, because there's... There is definitely a zero part of us winning here. <laughs> we did so pitiful in this match. This match did not go so well. Yeah, we have, we've lost. We have lost by lots. Your team boost expired. Oh, we did not do very good on that match. We did not do well. But yeah, I think that's what will conclude this one. If you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. For the case of the channel, it's nice to see you in the next one.